In a patient with lymphoma, minute amounts of tumor cells and DNA from the tumor cells are released into the bloodstream. This is known as circulating tumor cells or CTCs or circulating tumor DNA, CTDNA. When one looks at the blood of a patient with lymphoma and detects the circulating tumor cells or circulating tumor DNA, it provides kind of a snapshot or a uh, overall picture of the material that's being released into the blood. This represents potentially a very powerful tool to learn about the state of what's going on with the lymphoma in the patient's body. So in looking at circulating tumor DNA, there are two major advantages as I see it compared to a regular biopsy. Number one, it's easier for the patient, it's simply a blood draw. The second is that it gives a picture or a sample of the entire tumor cell population in the patient's body. The DNA in the blood to some extent represents all of the tumor cells in the patient's body as opposed to what you would see in a biopsy that was performed in one area. Assessing circulating tumor DNA at this point is very much a research tool. It's not something that is yet ready for clinical practice or clinical decision making. Where I think it might be helpful is in conjunction with a tumor biopsy, a diagnosis which patients are familiar with, looking at the circulating tumor DNA at the time of diagnosis may be a way to get a more complete picture of what's going on with the biology of the tumor at all of its sites. At the end of treatment, it may be that circulating tumor DNA levels correlate with outcomes, so we might be able to predict whose disease is likely to do better and whose disease is likely to do worse and change treatment on that basis. And then finally, all through the course of the disease uh, process, we might be able to identify new targets for treatment based on circulating tumor DNA and choose our therapies in a precision or more targeted therapy approach based on what findings are present in the circulating tumor DNA. It's important to remember this is all uh, information that will be developed through clinical trials and certainly there are lots of studies out there and clinical trials out there that patients may be able to participate so we can learn more about these tools and ultimately develop them for the best benefit of patients.